Here comes up with the football. Whistles. It was McCourty who comes up with it. And McCourty with a flag down on the Unbelievable. Shot. Unbelievable that he's done it again. Yep. Dante. Again. What is going on? Region of the brain in a football player about 40 years old. And what you could see are these brownish sports. You could not see. It looks ugly. Lyman, who did not have career-ending concussions who later were found at an early age to have extensive brain damage. Playing college ball, high school ball, and then coaching college uh, football. I have pretty extensive knowledge of concussions and brain injuries and, and multiple friends. Um, best man for my wedding still coaches in the NFL now. So, you know, I had three or four concussions in, in high school ball and you'd sit out a couple days and you'd go back to playing. Uh, but when I got to college, uh, they started testing. You had to take a um, standardized test, you know, when you're, you know, you had no brain injury. And then when you had a concussion, which I actually got one in college, um, they, you know, you had to sit down on a computer, take the same test, and until you passed it or did better than you did when you're, you know, normal function, um, you weren't allowed to play. Uh, there was one that, um, at that time, you know, with concussion protocols at that time, I remember one game I got a concussion in the first half and I don't remember playing the second half uh, of a game. And that's just the, the nature of that game at that time, you know, movie concussion, uh, which raised a lot of concerns, questions, you know, throughout America and the world, you know. Um, that movie is basically based on the early 1990s, late 1980s. Um, and a lot of people think it's based on now. You know, and the development of the football helmet, the football game, how you tackle, how you, um, there's penalties for leading with your head, targeting, that kind of stuff now. So the NFL and it's trickled down to college, high school, you know, middle school, peewee football. When you put something on the forethought, you know, and when it trickles down, um, there's a lot safer game nowadays. No, I, I, I really don't. And the reason I say that is um, coaching in particular. Let's take that for first. Um, when you look at coaching and how it's evolved, you know, before it'd be, will you run through that brick wall for me? You know, yes coach, I'll, I'll go do that. And if you're teaching these coaches how to teach their players, you know, the game becomes safer. You know, because football is a sport, yes it's a barbaric sport and it's uh, angry and you got to be mean to play the game, uh, but at the same time, you know, when you educate your players, they're going to follow what you say. You know, so if I had a parent sitting with me right now, you know, I'd tell them the same thing. Yes, it's 100% safe. You cannot be scared of this because it is a sport that it's ever evolving and we're educating those players even from when they're a peewee. You know, and if you have the right coaching, which we do here at Collins, you know, Coach Lucas does a phenomenal job. We educate our uh, middle school coaches, Coach Wright. We have Pee Wee teams come in and meet with us. And I know even at Shelby County, Coach uh, Shipley, who I played for and I played for Coach Lucas, they do the same thing. You know, so if we're going to educate these coaches, they'll know how to teach these younger players. And when it starts at the youth level, it'll then build into middle school, high school, college, professional. Yeah. Um, Recently, over the last 10 years, um, Virginia Tech uh, started a study um, roughly 11 years ago now um, in which they took the impact that a person takes on the uh, impact that a person takes on their head over the course of a football season and they started turning it into a study and they started studying what helmets are actually best and it's a recognized study um, people send their helmets to them uh, to see um, what exactly their helmets are capable of. And kind of like I was just showing you off camera, um, study that, you know, you look at the very worst rating helmet um, is actually a helmet that people used when I was in high school and, you know, when the movie Concussion is based off of, it, it's that poor. They say it's zero stars and you cannot use it. Um, and then the next level of one star helmet was the helmet I used when I played college football in the early 2000s. You know, so these two helmets that the Virginia Tech study shows are actually the two worst. 
at the time when CTE was really being developed. And ever since that point, you know, the early 2000s to, you know, late 2007, 2008 uh, timeline, helmet companies started really developing how they can make their helmets safer. Um, so Virginia Tech takes helmets every year, the brand new, you know, helmets uh, from Rydell to Shut to Zenith, one of the newest helmets that are out there. And you look at just the Zenith helmet, it's brand new, had a number one five star rating uh, just three years ago, and now it's at a four star because there's other helmets that have come out that are even more safe. And honestly, it's not just football. They do studies with hockey. They do studies with uh, lacrosse, uh, field hockey, um, goalie masks, things like that. So they've really tried to take their impact testing that they do on helmets and the disbursement of contact on the head um, to make sure people understand that you are safe when you play these games. And they wanted to be able to um, make mamas and daddies and you know uh, companies feel safe that, okay, our players and our athletes are protected when they wear these things and you know we sit down with or used to sit down with moms and dads and we talk about this study with them uh, when they'd ask questions you know how safe is my kid yeah. you know so we we point these out and uh, it's a really good study it's very thorough it's not just something uh, put on WikiLeaks or you know something, yeah. something like that um, it, it's a thorough uh, process that companies send their helmets and they take their feedback very strongly and, you know, put it into their product.